I want to show you a couple tricks about working up and over a really thick seam. You start to work with denim or heavier canvasy fabrics, and going up and over something that's already been stitched can be a little struggle. But with the multi-purpose tool and a few tricks along the way, I want to show you the easiest way to do this. So first off, I've started by just seaming two pieces of fabric together. Now when you stitch, one of the things I like to do is even top stitch this. Have you ever pressed it open? but then stitched another line of stitching down here so you can really get a nice look. I'm going to show you a foot. We're going to cheat for just a second. So pull out your foot number three and line up the red marker to be in the center of the foot. So let's do that. Use it with the dual feet so that's already engaged and I'm going to move the needle position just a little bit to the left side. So let's just go ahead or do minus, let's do minus 2.0, there we go. And you're gonna notice that when I stitch, all I need to do is just gently spread this apart and run it even with the red marker on the front of the foot. People always ask how I get nice straight seams and this is, um, well, this is my secret. All right, so this is just a quick little top stitching before we do kind of that denim hem that we're talking about. See how perfect that is? Yes. All right, so we're gonna switch back to a regular foot and I'm gonna just push stitch number one because that will clear out my needle positions so I don't actually have to do that myself and put zero A back on the machine. And let's talk about when you turn this hem up. So you're gonna turn it how many times? Once and then usually another time again. Now, here is what a lot of people do. They like to sew from the side that they can see the hem from, which is great, but do you know that your stitches actually look better from the top than they do from the back side? So when all possible, stitch from the top side, you'll have a better looking stitch. Yes, you'll have to press that in or feel where you're going or use one of the guides to stay nice and straight. But trust me, it will make a big difference in the long run. When you start to stitch, you are gonna find that your stitches are gonna get smaller, tinier. So with the thicker fabric, start with a longer stitch length. We'll start at three, and that should get us going nicely. Set the machine to stop in the down position. So needle down. And the reason for it is when you get to this really thick seam, now I will tell you, you can usually go up and over this no problem, but what happens? Sometimes you get some short little stitches when you try to go up the mountain and, little, and long stitches when you come down the mountain. So you have this fabulous tool with your machine called a multi-purpose tool. You notice on one side it's thinner than the other side, and this is a way to level the foot. So right now the foot is kind of going up the mountain. If you lift up the presser foot and slide the tool until the f it touches the seam. So you're not sliding it all the way under the foot, just enough so that when you lower the presser foot, the foot is now level with the thicker part that you're about to stitch into. And I don't know why I'm holding it because it's just gonna stitch evenly without any problem along that higher level. Same thing when you come off the seam, you can put the leveler in front of the toes and gently stitch until your foot will not be hung up here on the back side. And now you have nice even stitching without having to push or pull or you break your thread or all those things that people talk about. And look how nice and even those stitches are. So next time you have to go over a really thick seam, don't fret, just make your stitch length longer and pull out the multi-purpose tool to make it super easy.